What's up, everyone? Tara Roberts here with Fantasy Alarm, and we are talking DFS bargains for week six. At quarterback, Daniel Jones at only 5,200 on DraftKings is a ridiculous bargain. The matchup against Baltimore is great, and Jones is the type of player who, despite being a low-volume passer, does have upside because of his rushing capabilities. Jones has 230 rushing yards and two touchdowns on the ground this season. That is an average of nearly 50 yards per game nearly the exact same statistics as Josh Allen. All we are looking for here to get that high upside play out of Jones is for him to combine those 50 rushing yards with a touchdown on the ground and one passing touchdown. That's it. That's all we need for euphoria. And against Baltimore, it's very doable. At running back, the big one for me this week is Eno Benjamin. This will be a popular pick because the price is perfection. Arizona signed Clory Clement and Tyson Williams to their practice squad. And from where this is all trending, I think the only active backs on Sunday will be Benjamin Clement and Williams. Eno Benjamin will lead this backfield and is 4,600 on DraftKings against an Arizona defense that is horrible, horrible against the run. At wide receiver, if I'm going to recommend Daniel Jones at quarterback, let's talk about Darius Slayton, his new wide receiver one. In the offseason, Slayton took a pay cut to the league minimum to stay with the Giants, and finally got his time to shine last week, catching six of his seven targets for 79 yards. His single-game production is more than some of his higher-paid counterparts have had all season. We've seen Slayton be successful in the past. And at only 3,800 against a Baltimore team that has allowed the third most fantasy points to wide receivers, I am willing to bet on Slayton to match or exceed his Week 5 production. Another option that you could go with that is riskier is Wandale Robinson. It's looking very possible that Robinson will play this week. I'm not anticipating huge usage here because he's coming off a four-week absence and he is a rookie. But if he comes back, I can see a situation where the bulk of the targets goes to Slayton, but some key high-value targets and plays go to Robinson that would make him a high-upside GPP play. Now, the matchup for Pittsburgh against Tampa Bay is ugly. But the reason that I like George Pickens as a strong value play this week is game script. I don't see a reality in which Pittsburgh can remain competitive in this game by running the ball. And Mike Tomlin had zero problem letting Kenny Pickett throw for high volume last week when Pickett completed 34 of 52 passes for 327 yards. Pickens caught six of those completions for 83 yards. This is the second week in a row Pickens caught six of eight targets for relatively high yardage. Pickett will throw for high volume again, and I can see a reality in which he throws his first touchdown pass of his career to George Pickens. Now, the LA Rams face Carolina this week, and while I am still out on Matt Stafford for obvious reasons, Ben Skoranek is an interesting low-priced value play. The offense is running through Cooper Cup and Tyler Higby, and that won't change. But Skoranek has been relatively involved and has over an 80% snap count in every game this season. Cooper Cup is dealing with a foot injury and is likely to play, but if Cup is limited in any capacity, Skoranek could benefit. Alec Pierce has pushed his way into being the wide receiver two in Indianapolis. And despite the struggles for Indianapolis, Pierce has been steadily increasing his production. Pierce caught eight of his nine targets for 81 yards in week five and is a low-priced option in what should be a relatively competitive game between Indianapolis and Jacksonville. At tight end, I'm giving you two options because of an injury situation. If Pat Fryermuth is out and Zach Gentry plays, Gentry is an interesting punt option because of the potential high volume in that Pittsburgh game that we talked about. But Gentry did miss practice on Wednesday with an injury, so we have to monitor it. And if that injury situation means that he's out and he's not an option, play Will Disley. Yes, Will Disley. Will Disley has worked his way into being the tight end one for Seattle, and this is a fantastic matchup as Arizona gives up the second most fantasy points to tight ends. Disley has three touchdowns this season, so you can save money and have the potential upside of a 10 plus point game for him. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to Fantasy Alarm and come back next week for another round of DFS Bargains.